Welcome to Vaduz, the capital of Liechtenstein. Vaduz Castle there, under construction. Here in a beautiful valley in the Alps, between Switzerland and Austria. Hey there, good afternoon from Sargans. I just took a train, or rather two trains, from Bern, capital of Switzerland, to Zurich, changed, and then to here. It is raining like all over Switzerland, it seems, so a good time to be leaving tomorrow. I have a hotel reserved here in Sargans for tonight for a hundred and four dollars I think that it was or 105 bucks around that which is by far the cheapest hotel that I've had in Switzerland so I uh, decided to come here because I wanted to go to Liechtenstein Liechtenstein which is what I'm doing right now bus number 12 I just put my backpack in a locker right over there. There we go, Vaduz, the capital of Liechtenstein. Hoping for a break in the rain so that I can at least walk around Vaduz, the capital, without getting rained on, but that might just be the way that it is, so we'll uh, deal with it. But anyways, going there, coming back in whatever, a couple hours, and then staying the night here, tonight and tomorrow into Austria. So that is what is happening. Let's get on the bus. And here we go. So no trains go to Vaduz, but it is only a 23 minute bus ride. Very curious to see it. Okay. How many countries does this make? I think eight. Or eight, nine. Let's check the list. This will be number 88. Last new country was Fiji, 87. Here's the list. I have various lists in here, including movies that I need to watch. Here's the list of Greek islands. 47. First country I visited, Canada, because that's where I was born. Here we go. Country number 88, looking forward to it. So I just got a text message from T-Mobile, my cell phone service. Welcome to Liechtenstein. Your plan includes coverage that gives you five gigabytes per month of high-speed data on us, plus unlimited texts. At no extra cost, calls are 25 cents per minute. Enjoy your stay. So I guess we're there, or at least close. I haven't seen a sign yet saying welcome to Liechtenstein or anything. But we are five minutes away from the capital bus station stop. Maybe we're in Vaduz now, not sure. Here we are. Vaduz is how she pronounced it. The bus announcer. So that was not the uh, final stop at the central station, but I saw this building back here that I wanted to uh, take a look at. Everything is quite close here. 
So I will walk next to the castle, the main thing to see in uh, Vaduz. So it looks like this was a good place to stop because the museum is one of these buildings. Not sure that I'm going to go inside the museum anyways. It is not raining. Who knows if later it's going to be sunny or maybe pouring down rain. I figure I might as well take advantage of the not raining. A few little drops sprinkling, but uh, better than full on rain. And uh, do the walk up to the castle straight from here. Looks like a nice like walk through the old town this way. So that is a bank building, Lichtensteinisch Landish Bank. 1861 and the uh, raindrops are starting to come down a little harder here but uh, up ahead is the main cathedral you can see it is just after two o'clock and this is the building that I saw that I decided to uh, get off the bus to see because of the beautiful paintings up there MCM IV. Nineteen oh four. Let's take a look at the uh, cathedral, see if we can see inside. So, Liechtenstein is the sixth smallest country in the world. Fourth smallest country in Europe after Vatican City, smallest, been there, and then Monaco, been there, and then San Marino, have not been there, and then Liechtenstein. So now I have only two countries left to visit to have seen every country in Europe. San Marino and Russia, which of course is mostly in Asia, but hardly in Europe. Of course, the capital Moscow is in Europe, but I can't go to Russia until Putin is gone because I made a video criticizing the war in Ukraine and I'm not going to take my chances at ending up in a Russian prison like bald and bankrupt did as he explained in a post on instagram once like the real deal like seriously in a prison for days i'm not sure how long not sure when he was going to get out luckily he did but uh, anyways not going to russia even though i really really want to see it And the main language here in Liechtenstein is German. Okay, let's uh, keep on cruising and go see the castle. Walk through the old town. I guess this will probably be just a uh, walking tour of Vaduz. I don't know, I'll see. Uh, maybe there are buses going to other parts of the country, not that you can go very far. It is only 25 kilometers long and we covered some kilometers getting here, so maybe only like 10 miles further to the border that way. Okay, what is going on here? I hear the water. Huh. Very odd, uh, modern art, I guess. Information center. 
100 years since something. So this morning, when I woke up in Bern, I had to check out, was planning on heading this direction, but I didn't have a hotel reserved yet. I looked on Booking.com for two nights in Vaduz, and the cheapest rooms were more than $200 a night. That's even more than I paid in Switzerland. So then I checked in uh, that's the town Salgan, Salgars, where I'm going to be staying tonight. In uh, Switzerland, Salgans? Now I forget. Anyways, there was the room for a hundred dollars there. And so I decided to just stay one night and see once I get here. But uh, basically decided that I think just exploring here for a couple hours is fine and then keep on cruising tomorrow. So I have the uh, time constraint of the uh, 90 days in the uh, Schengen zone of Europe which I am running out of time having been in the Schengen countries for more than two months now I might have like three weeks left and uh, want to you know see more of Europe so We'll see where I end up tomorrow. Maybe stop in Austria for a couple of days, make it a fairly quick stop, and then from there, I will basically have to decide Slovenia, which I've been to before, Slovakia, which I've been to but only saw the capital. I've seen more of Slovenia. Or Hungary, which also I've only seen Budapest the capital. So I'm just going to procrastinate deciding on that. I will check trains when I get back to the uh, train station there where my luggage is and uh, there is one town that I have in mind to visit in Austria, Kufstein, which I got a random recommendation for and it's on the way heading through Austria. So. Uh, that might be the destination for tomorrow. Okay, where is the castle? Looks like they're all ready for a concert or something, performance, summer traff, but uh, weather is not cooperating today. Yesterday was brilliant, as I showed in my other video, exploring outside of Bern. But uh, the weather is showing more rain tomorrow as well, so might as well move on from this part of Europe. Try to find some sunshine without the crazy heat wave temperatures that a lot of places are experiencing now. So 18 minute walk from here up the hill, and I think probably that is it. Under construction, it is showing walking up this way and then going like that. So gonna be a kind of intense uh, hike getting up this mountain. And it is trending in the getting sunnier and warmer direction. Of course, that could change at any minute. Schloss. Either way, I guess. I'm guessing it's the uphill street. Haldenwig. What a beautiful valley here. That's basically what uh, Liechtenstein is, it seems, is a valley and uh, maybe along the 
edge of the mountains. Maybe that is what, you know, geographically resulted in a separate country here. It's just this kind of isolated valley here with uh, steep, dramatic mountains. Those are spectacular. Oh, it says Schloss this way. All right, we are lucking out with the weather. Rain gone for now, sun about to come through. Oh man, now I'm very curious to like get over there, get up into those hills a little bit. First things first, let's see the castle. Here we have some information. Vaduz, capital of the country. Just 5,000 inhabitants. I think the total population of the country of Liechtenstein is around 38,000. Residents of the princely house, seat of the government, first documented in the 12th century, 1592 imperial permission to hold markets, Princely and State Art Galleries, National Library, National Museum, Post and Postage Stamp Museum. Some more information about the country. The Principality of Liechtenstein is a constitutional hereditary monarchy upon democratic and parliamentary basis. 1921 Constitution. The power of the state is vested in the prince and the people. The prince is the head of state. The diet is elected by the people. Laws come into force only on receiving the assent of the monarch. State administration is carried out by the government. There is a complete system of courts of justice. History up to the foundation of the Principality in 1719. There is evidence that the territory has been inhabited since the Neolithic age, about 3000 BC. Occupation of Raetia by the Romans, 15 BC. So that is the exact year that Aventicum in Avanche, Switzerland, which I visited yesterday, was also founded, 15 BC. Very interesting, even though that is a ways away. Roman fort in Shan, dating from 4th century AD. Alemanni move in during period of great migrations. Walzers settle in our Alpine regions from end of 13th century. 1342, creation of County of Vaduz by division of inheritance between the brothers Rudolf and Hartmann of Wurdenburg Sargons. In 15th century, Lordship of Schellenberg and County of Vaduz are in the hands of the Barons of Brandis. The latter are followed as rulers by the Counts of Soltz and the Counts of Hohenems. And the history since the foundation of the Principality. 1699, Prince Johann Adam Andreas of Liechtenstein purchased the Lordship of Schellenberg. 1712, also the County of Vaduz. 1719, elevation of both territories to become the Imperial Principality of Liechtenstein with immediate status by Emperor Karl VI. 1806, becomes a member of the Confederation of the Rhine, no longer part of the Empire. Liechtenstein becomes a sovereign state. 1815 to 1866, membership of the German Confederation. 1852 to 1919, customs treaty with Austria. Abolition of the Liechtenstein army. Customs treaty with Switzerland. 1978, member of the European Council, joins the UNO as 160th member. Member of the EFTA, joins the European Economic Area and the WTO. The religion in the 4th century AD, conveyance of the Christian religion by the Roman army of occupation to our area. 500 AD, proclamation of the Roman Catholic faith by Bishop Lucius. 
Liechtenstein becomes part of the Diocese of Chur. County patron is St. Lucius. The Roman Catholic Church is the national church in accordance with the Constitution 1921, 1997, elevation to the rank of Archbishopric of Baduz by Pope John Paul II. So, primarily Catholic Christian. And here we are. Looks like the castle is undergoing some major renovations. I guess you can't go inside it. There's a gate that looks locked. Maybe while the renovations are underway, it's closed. No idea what else there is to see here, but people have been coming down from this way, so let's uh, wander up here. Schlosswald, Litzi, Treisenberg, Schwefel, Rottenboden, Treisenberg. What to do, what to do? Traffic is stopped. Okay, well, a little anticlimactic to not be able to uh, get inside the castle there, but uh, you have to kind of strip it away with your eyes, so to speak, and uh, imagine it in its full stony glory. Looks like a nice hike this way. Maybe uh, I'll continue on here, see where it's going, see if I can do a loop back down that way. We have a uh, very interesting carving here. Nineteen forty. Maria. De Königen des Friedens. Wildschloss Alpen Marathon Letziweg Quadritschaweg and Baduz 25 minutes Great, let's continue this way And back on the paved streets. Nice place to live. Probably not cheap. These homes. Looks like lots of hiking opportunities back in there.
And I guess this way... Into Vaduz. Maristrasse. Very, very rich looking neighborhoods here. The currency of Liechtenstein is the Swiss franc. I haven't bought anything yet in the country, but I'm guessing it's probably similar prices as Switzerland, especially based on looking at accommodation even more expensive than Switzerland. I wonder if there's a McDonald's here to compare. There we go, a nice view of the castle. And quite a historical looking building here. It looks like that might say 1500 on that uh, painting there. Looks like we lucked out with the weather. At least it wasn't raining on me the whole time. And a little sunshine coming through now. Very pretty green vineyard here. The sun is coming out. I would say it's definitely worth considering staying for, you know, two, three nights and uh, exploring further. Great place to come and hike. Get up into the mountains a bit more. Go further up the valley that way. But this time it is just gonna be a short visit of a couple of hours or so. I think that I'm just going to uh, head back towards the bus station, find out when the uh, buses are heading back to, I keep forgetting, Sargas and uh, get checked into my room there. Check the trains for tomorrow, figure out my plans for the next few days, almost certainly heading east across Austria. And looks like here's another way to get a tour of the town. Let's head down this way. And it looks like the ultimate way to explore the country would be to get a bicycle. Let's wander a little ways up here, experience the green fields, the sunshine, the beautiful views of the Alps. And the castle. All right, now let's get back down into the city center. Looks like some painting happening here.
back in the city center here. I think this is the bus station right around here anyways. Going to uh, see how often the buses go back and maybe just catch the next one. A little history. Vaduz is the capital of the Principality of Liechtenstein. So we pretty much covered all this before. Here we are. There's the castle, so quite a bit more of the town, even though it is only 5,000 people. Okay, there you go. That is the castle when it isn't all covered up. It is quite beautiful.